Hello beauty, so jumping right into this tutorial, I already primed her lid with Urban Decay and Eden. Next I'm taking NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. Now this is just going to create a beautiful white canvas for us to work on so that these colors go on very vibrant. Next I'm taking my Sigma E25 brush and the color Tease from the Naked 2 palette. And this is just going to create a good transition color in the crease so that the colors blend easily. Now I'm taking a flat shadow brush and the color Savage from the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I am patting this on her lid and not blending it because I want the color to be very intense and I'm taking this pretty much all the way across her lid. Next I am taking the color Jilted and I'm placing this in her crease and working it across and I'm just placing this crease for right now I'm not really concentrating on blending it and we'll go in and do that later now I'm taking the color Urban. I love this purple and I'm placing this in her crease as well just a little bit underneath Jilted. I'm concentrating this mainly on the outer V of her lid and blending it in with Jilted and also with Savage. And take your time and blend. If the color gets lost along the way you can always go back and pack it up again later. Right now you just really want to concentrate on blending. Now I'm taking my E 25 again and just blending all those beautiful colors together. Remember that blending is the key. You're going to concentrate on blending. Blend, blend, blend. And when you think you're done, blend some more. So now I am just going to put the color Foxy underneath her brow. And this is just going to create a highlight for us. Now I'm taking a 24-7 from Urban Decay. I don't remember what this one's called at the top of my head. I will put it down in the info bar. And I'm just going to take a brush and kind of soften that out. A thick, flat liner brush. I'm placing Chaos on that blue liner and I'm dragging it underneath the purple and then with that same liner brush I'm going to be pulling it up into Urban and Jilted and kind of focusing mainly on the crease with blending it as well if that makes any sense. <laughs> her waterline then I'm taking a black gel liner and lining her top lashes and then I'm going to take a liquid liner and repeating that same process as well I'm placing that over the top to help blend it out And I'm also going in with more of Jilted, just to give it a nice fade out. Wow. Taking the color Revolt, and I'm placing that in the inner tear duct. applying okay, mascara on someone else. Place your pinky so that you can get each lash and not have to worry about ruining your shadow. And then I'm taking some on the lower lash line as well. Wow. No, not good. 
And there you go. Those are the finished eyes. Now let's move on to the rest of the face. Benefits that gal as a face primer and brightener, and I'm just spreading that with my fingers. And it is in the color Honey Beige, and I am using my Sigma F80 brush to just blend this out. This brush is amazing for foundation. It really helps buff it into the skin and it helps you create a flawless finish as well so that you don't have that mask line underneath your chin. Next I'm taking my F86 brush from Sigma and I am using the Coastal Scent Eclipse Concealer Palette and I'm just using two tones to help with her dark circles and also create a nice highlight underneath her eyes. And I'm just blending that out so that there's no harsh lines. all over to help lock everything in place so that it does not smudge on you throughout the day. <laughs> Everybody knows this bronzer and a angled brush and I'm placing that in the hollows of her cheeks and then I'm going to be taking that around her hairline to the temples and then just make sure that you blend yeah, that, that in with your hairline so that there's no separation in between and then I'm also going to take some down to the bottom of her chin as well just to finish out the whole contouring look Heather Silk and I'm just lightly dusting this with the same angled brush onto her cheeks. This blush is very very pigmented. I will always recommend using a really light hand with this blush or using a dual fiber brush to apply it. her nose with this. Yeah, hey. Now even though you have a slimmer face, you want to contour. It helps bring more color back to the face and it also helps give it more dimension. Now I'm taking a lipstick by MAC and this is in the color Captive. and we are done. Alright guys, this is the complete look. I hope you guys liked it. 
Remember, don't be afraid to explore with bold colors. It is just makeup. You can always wipe it away later. True beauty comes from the inside. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one.